Hello, my name is David Borelli. I'm a first year medical student and former researcher with Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. I've always been really interested in emergency medicine, and one of the big problems that I see that plagues the field is patients that will bleed out and die from non-compressible injuries when they normally would survive the initial trauma itself, like gunshots and knife wounds that you can't turn a kid off and stop the bleeding to. 65% of civilian deaths and roughly 75 to 80% of combat deaths usually occur because of blood loss. So I've developed a technology that uh, staunches this blood flow, uh, creates a plug inside of this non-compressible wound, and allows the patient to be stabilized while they're being transported from the site of the incident to the surgeon's operating room. Once they're in the OR, the surgeon pulls the plug right out and gets to work fixing the damage. So we've done some very preliminary testing on this foam. I've literally got a couple of my friends who are studying nursing who will come over and take a blood sample and we'll put it into a little conical tube and spray the foam on top of it. And then we'll measure the time to clotting and see if the foam actually creates a stable plug uh, for, for stopping the blood outflow. My product right now is in the very early phases. We're literally using whipped cream dispensers and uh, seltzer chargers to power my my device. It's not the most optimal system, but you know, really good science sometimes comes out of a garage with limited materials. I think this kind of technology has the possibility to revolutionize first aid and first responders toolkits.